All right, who is ready to join me in making some ice cream? Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for joining me today on our journey through ice cream hacks. Today it is hot. It has been hot outside. Finally, it was like snowing until the beginning of June and now it's very hot and summery outside. And you know what? I want to make ice cream. Well, I don't want I don't want to I don't want to make ice cream. I want to <laughs> experiment with different ways of serving it. We're going to test them out. We're going to see if they're any good, how difficult they are, and if they're worth actually making because I've scoured the internet and these ones are interesting. So do we have all the ingredients that we need to do these ice cream hacks? Yes, we do. Do we have coffee? Yes, we do. <laughs> Am I wearing a shirt that says kale on it when I'm doing an ice cream hacks video? Yes, I am. Not gonna apologize for it. This is a very, very comfortable shirt. So we are going to, there's like a piece of Lego on the floor here and I keep, keep stepping on it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So we're gonna start with one that I think would be really, really fun. And I think it's an absolutely beautiful way of presenting ice cream. And that is rolled ice cream, which actually I believe originated in Thailand. And so they have all these different ways in which you can roll it up and add all sorts of like toppings and things like this. And it's this beautiful, just swirl and I think like what a lovely way of displaying ice cream I want to make that I want to go to there I think this would be super fun to do I think it'd be a great activity you could possibly do with kids as well and um, we're gonna test it out we're gonna see if it's any good so the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the stove which is a weird place to start for our ice cream but we need to make the base I'm taking my camera now we're, go we're going rogue here. So the first thing we need is a pan. I'm actually going to be using this one. It is cast iron. It's gonna be very forgiving when we end up like scraping and rolling. And we need to start here because this is where we're going to actually combine all the ingredients for the base. So I'm gonna start by getting this up to high heat. Maybe a little lower than high heat, that makes me nervous. And we are gonna combine into this skillet milk, sugar, and cream until it starts to bubble. Ah. It's already starting to bubble. I don't want to burn the sugars, so I'm going to work fast. And basically, we want to keep stirring this until everything is combined, the sugar is dissolved, and then I'm going to let it come up to room temp. All right, it's starting to boil, so I'm going to take it off the heat. We're going to let it chill for a bit. So while that's cooling, we're going to go on to the next tack, and I got to do this quickly because I have ice cream out that's going to melt. And this one is turning ice cream into icing, and it is possibly the easiest hack out of all the different ones that we are going to be testing today. And that is literally taking ice cream and scooping it into a piping bag and then piping it on top of whatever it is that you're icing. But I want to know if it's actually going to come out as like an icing thing. Is it going to immediately melt because you've sort of like squished it with your hands? And I also thought this would be a great opportunity to test it with this thing, which if you guys remember, I tested for uh, icing sugar cookies. So I am going to take a glass to fill some ice cream into my icing bag. This is a reusable one, by the way. It is blue, I love it. And I'm gonna be icing them on these chocolate cupcakes, which we made for another video that will be up soon. And so I have my ice cream here. It's my Chapman's ice cream, because I have a peanut allergy, and most ice creams I can't eat. Looking at you, Ben and Jerry's, Hagen dazs ruining the whole experience for me. So we're going to dig in here. Get some nice scoops. I don't know how much ice cream to do. Like two scoops, right? Two scoops is probably good. Hey. Got there. <laughs> I'm making icing from ice cream. Oh yeah. Look. Ooh, it's gonna work so well. Shh, it's gonna work really well. It'll work fast. <laughs> well, and try. It's so cold on my hands, but like at the same time I have to work fast, but also it takes a long time to like get it to right. actually get to the Yeah, you try like feel well, it. It's got to thaw a little bit. I guess makes sense but like, I didn't break it. You good? Me. Like I thought it'd be cool to put it in here But I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Is it not coming out? No, it's coming out. It's just kind of dripping. Put it on. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. There you oh, go. Oh, it's You're working. On. It's yep. working. Yep. Okay. Oh no, I did the wrong way. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my gosh, my hands look oh, like icicles. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> Maybe if I put it in this thing, it'd be. Ah! How's it going? Super good or just <laughs> great? It's so good. It's so good. It's not melting anywhere. Okay, okay, hold on. Here we go. Wait for it. Ooh. 
it's all melted. Yep. So let's, <laughs> this is not, no. No, I, literally I just have ice cream all over. Yeah. Melted ice cream all over the counters. I mean, it didn't not work. <laughs> It just didn't work well. <laughs> Can you imagine icing even 12 of them? Absolutely not. No, in no world would I do this again. You wanna, you wanna taste this? I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, don't do this one. It's easy and it looked pretty when I saw it, but the actual doing of the icing, nope. no, nope. no. All right, now that the melted ice cream is cleaned up off of my counter, we're gonna go on to another hack because the rolled ice cream mixture is still Still not to room temp. Still not to room temp? Nope, nope, still not. And this is a hack to create fried ice cream. And since I can't go to like a carnival or a festival or a fair or anything and get fried ice cream, I'm gonna have to make it from scratch. And this one looked really cool because they use cereals and like really brightly colored ones like Fruity Pebbles or Tricks or something like that. So I thought we would try two different cereals. One is the Chocolate Chex because I love chocolate and chocolate and ice cream, that just makes sense. And then the other one is Frankenberry, which I tested for like a Halloween video. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't like it. Did not like it, was not a fan, but Chris really likes it and I think it's really pretty looking, so we're gonna try it. So all I've done so far is I just took a bunch of each of the cereals, I ground them up in my little like Nutribullet thing. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop some ice cream, we're gonna roll it around in the different toppings and let it freeze for like 30 minutes. I mean, pretty straightforward. So, let us start by getting some ice cream. So they specified like a ball. Do you say that's, that's a ball of ice cream? I mean, like I can't really make like a full sphere, you know? You just like form it into one. Okay, here we go. Roll it. Gotta work quickly so that the ice cream doesn't melt. I feel like the Chex one will be really good. Drizzle with chocolate syrup. Oh, I have to say, I really like the color of the Frankenberry one. It's very summery. I'm gonna do one more of each, I feel like just for safety. And I don't know, It has this one has marshmallow in it too. I don't know how that's gonna do in the fryer. Guess we're gonna find out. I need to stick these into the freezer for 30 minutes and then we're gonna fry them up. Guys, the ice cream base, it's done, it's ready. Not hot. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to incorporate any toppings that you want. And obviously this could be anything, anything that you would put into ice cream. I, myself, personally, I'm gonna put in Oreos and also sprinkles. You know the little dot ones, little rainbow? So now I'm just going to incorporate my different toppings. Get a little Oreo in there. Sprinkles. Love this for me. This could be so pretty. Oh my gosh, I already love it. It's already a win. And now they say to take paint scrapers. <laughs> I don't have those. So instead I'm taking these two guys and we're using this to like move the base around, incorporate all the different elements. You can chop down larger chunks of things if you have that in there. Um, basically, the more air you get into it, apparently, the better, more creamy the texture will be of your ice cream. Obviously, be very careful. With <gasps> this is not something that I realized. The sprinkles are still melting into the base. The ice cream, like, like it's cold, guys entirely cold. It's just, it's, a, it's in a liquid. So it'll be like marble. Okay, I'm gonna do a very little bit of mixing. What I should have done is mixed it up and then put in the sprinkles last. It's like the final je ne sais quoi. But instead we're gonna have some really cool, like colorful, swirly ice cream. I didn't, I didn't know that was happening today, but I'm into it. Yeah, I don't wanna touch this. It's gonna be so pretty. Like, look at that. Look at that beautiful swirl in there. This is art right there, ladies and gents. So now I need to stick this entire thing into the freezer for four hours so that it entirely freezes solid. And then we're gonna go in and roll it. And here I am, night before, making Kool-Aid ice cream. This is one of the weirder things that I've made, but I'm excited for future Rachel. I'm excited for you, you get to try this. And all we're gonna need for this recipe, we're gonna need two cups of milk, one cup of half and half, we got some sugar, and we got Kool-Aid. The best flavor ever. This is blue raspberry lemonade. In my opinion, there is no others. The only one, only one worth having. Maybe the lime one. Lime one is also good. And I'm just gonna combine everything into this guy. He's kind of like the Kool-Aid man. It's a cup measure versus a glass jug, it's fine. Oh, 
It's caffeine free and a good source of vitamin C. Thanks, Kool Aid. Then in goes the Kool Aid. And we're gonna mix this till hopefully it's blue. Blue is my goal. I want blue ice cream. Future Rachel, this is what I want for you. Dissolve. Dissolve. <laughs> okay, let's just keep stirring this and hope for the best. Okay, I had to switch to a little mini whisk because it just wasn't dissolving all of the little bits. That is as blue as we're getting right now. All right, now we're gonna take this mixture, we're going to pour it into a shallow pan or a shallow baking dish like this and stick it into the freezer for one to two hours until it starts to thicken up. Then we're gonna take it out again. So let's pour this in and off this goes to the freezer. See you in two hours. Okay guys, here we go. Here it is so far, it's, um, it's, it's thicker, it's thicker. So now we're going to take this and we're gonna put it in here. Francesca, do your thing. And now I just need to whisk this until smooth and then it's gonna be ice cream time. And now the ice cream is frozen and now I get to show you guys the grand reveal of our blue ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to taste this. It's so cool. Okay, it's starting to melt. Lucifer, do you wanna try Kool-Aid ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> it's blue, it's so blue. How blue did it get? I mean like, I mean not as blue as I kind of, I wanted it to be more blue, but like it's still blue. Look, look, look. It's well, like it's blue. A, it's, not like, it's not like radioactive, but no, it's blue. but it's blue. Oh, it's, it's pretty solid. <laughs> How about a corner? Yeah, the corner piece of ice cream. Ooh, that's icy. It's pretty, uh, pretty solid. All right, here we go. Icy, but ooh. That flavor. The creaminess after, with the blue raspberry, blue raspberry makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not the ice cream texture that you might want. This in an ice cream maker? Would that be better? Oh, I imagine so, yeah. I like the flavor of it though. Mm, it's kind of good. It's good. Mm. It's just that initial iciness. Yeah. But otherwise, like flavor, yeah. absolutely there. You know what? I want to put this in one of those like, you know, those kicky, ball things that you put ice cream in and you kick it around and then you get soft serve. Why do you kick, you kick ice cream? <laughs> no. No, it's like those, Leave little, it alone. <laughs> those little balls and it has, it's all insulated and you kick it. And then it makes ice cream. How do I fix the iciness though? Oh, I don't know. Can you fix it? Someone let me know because I really want to eat the rest of this. I would have thought that blue raspberry would work in like a freezy or a popsicle or something like that in a milk and cream based ice cream, it works better than I thought. What other flavor would you have done of Kool-Aid? Lime. That's what I was gonna say. That's the only other one I can think of. Those are the only good. two worth drinking, really. Yeah, obviously. So glad we agree. <laughs> yep, I'm happy with this. 10 out of 10, would recommend, mm -hmm. except for the initial iciness. Hooray. <laughs> mm. When you got the, um, I did, um, Ice cream for frying. I'm gonna fry some ice cream. Do you want to eat some fried ice cream with me? I it's, bet I do. I think I think it's I think it's gonna be good. All right, which flavor are you doing first? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I want to taste the chocolate one the best, but I think those ones are but gonna be the prettiest. Let's make this a practice one. Yeah, that might be a problem right there. Oh uh, no! That's the side we might. Need to Maybe do. that one doesn't have it. Yeah. Yes. Are you counting? Uh, wow. Whoa! That what happened? Nope. No! Okay, you need to way less, way less time, way less time. Okay, go. Like five seconds. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Okay, now pick it out. This is a disaster, Christopher. Yeah. What is happening? Well. <laughs> Off a paper towel. Here we go. Glassy. You know what? The parts that stuck to it are crispy and tasty. That's really good. The chocolate yeah. checks. Yeah. Like this I like because it has that chocolate flavor. I feel like if you do Fruity Pebbles or any of those, you're not really going to get anything other than like a fried texture. Let's try this. Sun's frying. No, it's not bad. 
There was a little chocolate sauce on that. It's a lot crispier than I thought it would be. So this didn't work. Did not work. Did no. not. I, I wish it did though. Now, could you wait? Could you make like almost like a cracker thing out of the check somehow and fry it and then stick it on the ice cream? Someone talented might be. <laughs> Just deep fry checks, sprinkle yeah. it on top. But like, don't bother doing all of this because no. no, it did, didn't. Didn't work. Didn't take. I'm a little mm. sad about it. Now I just have to wait for my rolled ice cream to be ready. Oh, right, yeah. yeah it's gonna be really good. It's all swirly and I put sprinkles and stuff in it. It'll be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna all be right. good. All right, guys, it's go time for this rolled ice cream. I just took it out of the freezer. I don't even have time to tell you what I'm doing here. So basically, the one downside is that I thought I put this pan into the freezer on a very level playing field. I like took it out of a different area, it doesn't matter. And now, it is clearly not even, so my roll isn't going to be super even either, but I have to do this really fast, um, otherwise it is going to all melt on me. So, I'm supposed to take one little guy like this, press it in at an angle, and if I need like a butter knife or something to help it to roll, I could do that. Come on. No. Over. <laughs> is it going really well? <laughs> I'm so sad. Look at that ice cream roll. Thank you. Pretty much just like in the picture. That's, I yeah. think so. And my beautiful swirl ended up looking quite gray and dismal. <laughs> you want you want to eat it though? I kind of do. You kind of do. Is this better or worse than the deep fried ice cream? I think this would be better because Oreos. Do you well, want well, to break apart the beautiful roll? I think we should at least try to put it. <laughs> I did freeze the bowl. Okay. Here we go, here. Ooh. Art. Do you have your phone? We should Insta this. <laughs> Christopher, don't say Insta. It's a verb. Wait, I'm gonna make another one. Hold on. Oh, that, that one was plenty good. Hey, that one's more of a hey, roll. Uh, almost. Yeah. On the camera. <laughs> The camera, it just looks like I took out a blob of ice cream. Yeah. It's fine. All right, dig in. Now, technically, this is an ice cream from a box. I technically made this ice cream. You know what? It is good, though. It's super yummy. <laughs> it's really good. Kind of crushed it. Speaking of crushed. Ooh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jazz it up. Jazz it. Yeah. There we go. Boom. There we go. Look at that. Is that art or what? But it's tasty. If you guys have tried any of these ice cream hacks, let me know, especially this roll thing. Like, clearly it's because my pan wasn't level. Even though I thought it was level, I thought ahead and I failed. But if you have any hacks, let me know. This was tasty anyway. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and check out these videos if you've missed any. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Love you all. Mwah.